Okay, section 4.2 of trigonometry. Let me share my screen. Again, this is designed um, so that you guys can stop the video anytime you need. <clears throat> and um, I'll be annotating on the answer key. And I have a real specific way that I like to teach this, teaching kids one full period. Uh, I did it in section 4.1, and this is just an extension of that. So what we're doing now is we are going to be doing all the transformations. We're going to be doing the amplitude, which is obviously A, okay? And that's the distance from the midline. If it's a negative number in front of the uh, sign, it also represents a um, reflection, okay? We got the B number, which changes the period. Now, the basic period is 2 pi. Now, of note, when we get to the graphs, 2 pi for me is four boxes. Okay, it's four boxes, okay? So that's how I do it. So obviously, pi is two boxes. And four pi, four pi, four pi is eight boxes. Just keep that in mind when I'm doing this. I'll be reminding you of this as well, okay? So from the previous lesson, you learned to take two pi divided by that B term, and you'll get the period. And the period, of course, the definition is how long it takes to complete one full cycle. Okay, again, stop the video, no problem in doing this and writing it down. We got a phase shift potentially. You have seen phase shifts in algebra two. I would think most notably with parabolas is where probably where you've seen it the most. And you've seen vertical shifts. Quick reminder, sometimes they put the V term in front of the entire equation. You gotta recognize that as well, okay? All right, so. Um, and again, as a reminder, the order of graphing, we're going to establish our midline. Then we're going to establish our maximum and minimum using the amplitude. The V term establishes the midline. Then we're going to um, do our horizontal shift, okay, and figure out where our starting point is, and then we'll get our ending point, okay? So that, that's exactly how we're going to proceed on this, okay? That's the order of graphing. I'm going to walk through that tons of times. So listen to my voice cadence and you'll figure this out. Okay. So again, pause that if you need to and write, the, write that stuff down. Okay. So we got for the first one. Here is our equation. All right. Sine x minus pi plus 2. So let's go through this. The amplitude is 1. It's the number in front of the sine. It's 1. All right. So the uh, amplitude meaning the maximum and the minimum are one unit above and below the midline. The midline or the vertical shift is two, okay? And so this is the shift from the zero line up two units. The period is two pi. I'm getting that from the one that's right in front of the parentheses because it's two pi divided by one, which is two pi. And again, 2 pi for us is going to be four boxes, four boxes. And then our shift, the shift is the opposite of that sign. So it's negative pi, and the shift will be positive pi. And pi in our system is, is two boxes, OK? Pi in our system is two boxes. All right, let's try this. So let's go in order here. First thing, remember, I'm going to slide up just a little bit. Look at my directions right there. The first thing, establish, establish a midline. All right, no problem. Let's establish a midline, first thing, OK? Let me move my video, my picture real quick. OK, establish a midline. All right, a midline is going to be the vertical shift, and that's going to be 2. So 2 is our, is our uh, midline. All right, so I've ripped this right here. Then I'm going to go up one and down one from the midline. So the maximum, of course, is going to be three, and the minimum is going to be one on this. Okay. So that's, that's why I have three red lines there. Now, 
All right, that's step two. Step three is the starting point. We usually start right here. Well, this is going to be shifted, and the shift is going to be uh, pi to the right. And the reason it's going to the right is because we're doing the opposite of this sign, okay? So pi to the right in our system is going to be two boxes. So I'm actually going to be starting right here. So let me erase this right there. There we go. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna start right there at that spot. Okay. Then the the um, the periods two pi. And remember, two pi is four boxes. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right there, and then cut it in half. So I need a mark on all five of those. Okay, on all five of those. All right. And we know sine starts at the midline, goes to its max, down to the midline, to the minimum, right? it goes like that. Here we go. So starting here, midline, max, midline, minimum, midline. There we go, okay? A lot of steps. This is not something you should rush through. This is a very slow and methodical method. So the test is like six questions. I want to give you one of each type. It's not a long test because you have to go real slow on this. Okay? All right, I'm going to erase all this. So if you need anything, stop the video here. Okay, the next one. All right, here we go again. Sign, all right? So I'm just going to real quick remind myself that's the basic sign shape, okay? The first step is to establish a midline. Well, the midline is going to be negative three. So that starts right there, OK? Then my amplitude, which is the A, is going to be the number right in front of the sign. And of course, that's one. So I'm going to go up one and down one from there. So what we have is a maximum of negative two and a minimum of negative four, OK? And those are the three lines there. and uh, the period uh, is going to be 2 pi. That's going to be this number right in front of the parentheses, right in front of the parentheses, which is 1. It's going to be 2 pi divided by 1, which is 2 pi. Okay. Erase that and getting a little cluttered there. Okay. And then the, the, uh, the shift is going to be the opposite of uh, pi over 2 which is negative pi over two. And remember, pi over two is one box. To review, two pi is four boxes for me, my system. Pi is two boxes. Therefore, half of pi or pi over two is one box. Okay, so my shift is gonna be one box and it's gonna be one box to the left. That's why I have an arrow there. Remember, it's the opposite of that sign. Okay. All right. So I normally start here. So I'm going to shift one right there. And the period is two pi. That is four boxes. One, two, three, four. Those are my five points. Sign starts in the middle, goes to the max, and goes back to the middle, down to the minimum, and then back to the middle. Here we go. Midline, max, midline. Minimum, midline. And that's all I'm asking you to do is that, okay? Show the lines that show the midline, the maximum and the minimum. <clears throat> now, in the previous lesson, of course, I had many, many cycles of this. I'm only doing one cycle now. I'm keeping it real simple for us, okay? All right, let's go to C now. In C, if you notice, this is a cosine function. All right. So cosine normally looks like this, but because of that negative sign, we got a reflection. So it's going to start at its minimum and go that direction. So this is what we got here, okay? So once again, amplitude is two. It's the absolute value of that. The midline is uh, three, okay? You can, and the period is still two pi. It's uh, 2 pi divided by that number in front of the parentheses, which is a 1, okay? So 2 pi is 4 boxes. Don't forget that. 4 boxes, 4 box, okay? And the shift, let me erase this real quick. The shift is going to be pi over 2, 
okay? It's the opposite of this sign right there where the arrow is, the opposite of that. And it's gonna go to the right. And pi over two is one box. All right, so step one, I'm circling it, midline. The midline is, of course, gonna be three right there. The amplitude is uh, two, so I'm establishing my maximum and my minimum, two boxes from that. With Okay, those three red lines are there for that reason. Now, this is my normal starting point. I am gonna shift pi over two to the right, and that's one box. So this is now my starting point. And the period is two pi, which is four boxes. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put my five dots right there. And this is a reflection. So again, cosine is usually this. Now it's gonna be the upside down one there. Okay, so minimum, midline, maximum, midline, minimum. And I'll make it swoopy. Okay, so it shows the continuing action of it. There you go. Okay, so again, slow and methodical. Okay, let's go to the next set of these. Okay, all right, so we got D, E, and F on this. The next, this one is, um, let's establish all that the amplitude's two against the absolute value of that negative. Too, but it's gonna be a reflection. Sine normally does this. Now we're gonna go down first. We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna circle that. That's what my shape's gonna look like. Okay. The period is still two pi because I'm dividing two pi divided by that b term, which is still one. It's gonna change in the next problem, but it's still one right now. The vertical shift is down one or negative one. And the horizontal shift is going to be the opposite of this. The opposite of positive pi is negative pi. So that's going to the left pi. And pi is two boxes to remind you. Okay. So let's go ahead and do all this. All right. Again, I normally start right in the middle. But I'm going to go to the left pi. And pi is two boxes. So I'm going to start there. And the period's two pi, which is four boxes. One, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna do my shape. And again, the sine shape, this is a reflection. So it's gonna look like this. Midline, minimum, midline, maximum, midline. Okay, and there you go. Take your time. There's no reason to hurry. The next one, cosine. All right, cosine is going to be this shape, and I have a positive function, so it's going to remain that shape, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is establish my midline, which is 1, okay? Then, this is a little bit tricky here, okay? I'm going to have to do some factoring here, all right? Clear this real quick, okay? So... I'm going to have, I need to get a number outside of this. I can't have that two kind of, uh, I can't have that two buried in there. Okay. So I'm going to factor this out. I'm going to rewrite this one half cosine two. I'm going to go X minus pi over two plus one. All right. Now let's stop here for a second. I'm going to multiply the two back through and see if I get the question. Is two times x, two x? Absolutely. Is two times pi over two pi? Yes. So this is the form that I need it in. So let's look at this form. I'm going to change colors. Okay. So you can see the vertical shift is one right there. And then I'm going to start right there at one. Okay. The amplitude's a half from that. There's the half right here, no problem. So I'm gonna go up a half and down a half. I've got my three red lines to represent the max, the midline, and the minimum. Now, the period is gonna be just pi. How did I get that? Arrow down here. Two pi divided by two equals pi. The period is pi. Pi is two boxes. This is going to repeat itself in two boxes, not four. That's, that's for the two pi. This is two boxes. 
but I have a shift as well. The shift is pi over two. Pi over two is one box. All right, so I'm gonna clear this. So um, the normal starting point is here. I'm gonna shift over pi over two, which is one box. And I'm gonna do all of this cycle within two boxes because that is the period of pi. So I need to make some marks here. I've got to have five dots within two boxes. There we go. So cosine starts at its maximum, goes to its midline, down to its minimum, up to its midline, and over to its maximum. I'll make it nice and swoopy because it repeats. I'm not showing the repetitive action like I did in the first section. OK, there you go. OK. All right, item F, item F, okay? Again, this one is um, has a little bit of work to do here, okay? So let me change colors here. Let me get the darker one. I think that might be a little bit better. So I'm gonna change this to, let me change, get my face out of the way. I have things in my way all the time. Who wants my face anyways? Okay, so <clears throat> we got three cosine. Take the two out of there, X, plus pi over two minus two, okay? So I'm gonna take a second and multiply this two back through. Two times X is two X, two times pi over two is pi, so I have it right, all right. Now, my starting point is that vertical shift of negative two, right down here, negative two. My amplitude's three, so I'm gonna go three up from there and three down from there. So my maximum is one, my midline is a negative two, and my minimum is negative five. So this is gonna be spread out a little bit, okay? Now the period is gonna be two pi divided by the two where the arrow is right there by two, and that's pi. Pi is two boxes in my system, okay? And the shift is gonna be pi over two, which is this right here, and pi over two is positive, so we go the opposite way. It's going to be to the left, pi over two. So normally I start here, but I'm going to move it over one spot right there. And I got to do this whole thing in pi, which is two boxes. So I need to establish five points in two boxes. And cosine starts at its max, goes like this. Maximum, midline minimum, midline, maximum, okay? A little sloppy there, but I got it, okay? Now, these last three, these last three are going to take some time here, and uh, I think if I remember correctly, I made some of these where they kind of go off the chart, so I have to kind of slide it back. So it's going to take a little bit of explaining, explaining, okay? So maybe I will make this a little bit bigger for you. Well, that could be, that's too big. I could make it a little bit bigger. And then, yeah, this might work out pretty good, okay? Let's get move my mug. <clears throat> okay, so this one, one-half sign, um, 2x minus 2 pi over 3. Okay, so I got a little bit of work here. So let me go ahead and this is going to be negative 1 half sine 2x minus pi minus 3. Got it. I'm going to check real quick. See, my, see my is 2 times x 2x? Yes. Is 2 times pi 2 pi? Got it. But I got it in the form that I want, okay? So we always start with the midline. The midline is a, is a uh, vertical shift of negative three. So that is where I start. The um, amplitude is a half, so it's really small. I'm just gonna go up a half a unit and, and uh, down a half a unit, okay? No problem. Then the period is gonna be two pi divided by two, okay? And that's gonna be pi. And again, pi is, in my system, pi is two boxes. I said that so many times because two pi is going to be four boxes. 
Okay, two pi is two boxes. Okay, so um, now, and then the horizontal shift is going to be pi to the right and pi is to, is one box. No, I'm sorry. Let's see what did I say here? Yeah, pi, uh, pi is, pi is, I'm sorry, pi is two boxes. I just got done saying that. Pi is two boxes. Okay, so let's figure this out. Let me, um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this real quick. This is my equation. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw this. Here we go. Okay, so the normal starting spot is right here but I'm gonna shift it to the right pi, which is two boxes. And I know the whole period is only pi as well. So the whole thing's gotta repeat in this small area. So I need five points in this small area. I just keep making half marks, okay? So Stein starts in the, starts in the middle, okay? And goes like this. However, this is negative sign. So negative sign is a reflection. So it's going to go like this. This is the shape I want right there. Okay, we've memorized that shape, okay? So I'm going to go here to the minimum, to the midline, to the max, back to the midline, and there we go right there. Okay, it takes time. It's not a simple thing. Okay, pause that if you need to. Okay. Uh, let me slide this over and try to handle H. Okay. Now for H, again, I got to do some factoring here. Okay. I'm going to go um, write it up here. I'm going to go four cosine one half x parentheses minus two pi minus one what you need is to have the x here um with no coefficient you want the coefficient in front of the parentheses okay just to double check is a half times x x over two yes is a half times two pi pi yes okay so i have this done correctly all right so i'm just going to go ahead and jump in from here Okay, I think we're experienced enough, hopefully, to figure this out. Now, this is where we got to be real smart here, okay? Because I don't have enough room on my graph with all the shifting, I don't think. I always put a standard graph on there. Okay, first thing, get your midline. The midline's negative one, no problem. Okay, that's step one. Step two is deal with the amplitude, step two. The amplitude is right there and right there. I go four units up and down. So the maximum is actually um, is actually three and the minimum is negative five. Okay, now the next step is I gotta figure out what where my starting point is. A normal starting point right in the middle here, okay? However, I'm gonna be shifting to the right two pi, okay? Remember, 2 pi, the opposite of that sign there. 2 pi is four boxes. I've been saying that a million times. Four boxes. Four boxes equals 2 pi. Okay, so when I do that, one, two, three, four. This is my starting point. And, of course, I'm going to run out of room on this, and I'm going to probably just extend into the next graph, okay? Okay. So you can see my red points. I have also just done a cycle the other way too, but you'll see what I'm doing here. Okay, so four boxes to the right. And my period is four, is four pi. Four pi is gonna be eight boxes, eight boxes. Okay, so here we go. So one, two, well, let me see here. I'll go four right there. Here's a midpoint. I'll count this as a box, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going into the next graph on this. I'm just gonna go right into it. I'll just go into the next graph and I'll count this space right here as a box, okay? So cosine, what does cosine look like? Cosine looks like this, okay? It's positive. All right, so I am gonna start at its maximum. I'm gonna go to its midline then down to its minimum, 
and then up to its midline and then to its maximum. So this is really what it looks like if I can extend into the other chart there, right? Now, what I did on my answer key originally is all I did was extend it this way, just so you can see the progression of it, okay? But I'm going to drill this real heavy. The part that the original part that I would do would be the part that I'm doing real heavy, okay? But because I ran out of room, I just went the other way a little bit, okay? Pretty cool. So if you got to stop and do that one, fine. This is designed for you to stop any time and check it out. All right, the last one here, I believe it's the last one. Okay. Yep, it is. <laughs> the last one on this is on is here we go. So I got to do some um, calculating again. I'm at mean, some factoring. Okay. So we got for this one we got negative three sine. And then I'm going to take out the negative a half out of this. Okay. Okay. Negative half. And it'll be X plus pi. Sorry. X minus pi. X minus pi plus one. X minus pi plus one. Okay. Let me erase that and do a little better job of that. Okay. Now, if you're not confident that you did it right, just multiply it back through. Negative a half times x is negative x over 2. And then negative a half times pi, negative a half times negative pi is positive pi over 2. We got it right. Okay? So hopefully you can see, and I'll circle these. What's, what's our starting point? Our starting point is step one is always get the midline. The shift is 1. That's right there. Okay? Okay? Then... The amplitude is going to be up three and down three from there. You see the two red lines, no problem. Okay, again, pause the video, whatever you got to do, stop and get those right. Okay, this takes time. It's not a simple thing. Okay, it's not hard. It's just you just got to clear your schedule and just, just sit there and do it right. Okay, now um, the shift as in the uh, starting point is going to be pi to the right. And again, pi in my system is two, two boxes. So here's our normal starting point, okay? And we are gonna go to the right pi right here, okay? And you'll see in my answer key that I, I ran out of room, so I ended up going to the left a little bit, but that's okay, we're just gonna go, we'll go from here, okay? So pi to the right, fine. Now the period's four of pi. Four pi is eight boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can go seven, eight. I'll just kind of extend it there, okay? I'll just kind of extend it. And then I'm going to need to establish five points from here. So I'm going to do some erasing here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So these are the five points that I need. All right. So right there. And then you'll see, I went the other way on this to fit it on the graph, but I think it's better if I explain it this way. All right. This is a negative sign. Sign normally does this, right? Normally does that. That's the shape. But because it's a reflection, I'm going to go down first. So this is the shape I want. We've done this so many times. Here we go from the starting point. Midline down to its minimum up to its midline, over to its, did I miss it? Over to its midline. Let me erase that real quick. Up to its max and then down to its midline. So it's going like this. Okay. And of course, what what I did is, you know, I had a, another graph going here on this thing where it kind of started. So, all right, there you go. That's the sine one, negative three sine. Okay, that is section 4.2 of trigonometry. Enjoy.